story. It was the talk of the crew during commercial, and I bet it's the talk of you at home as well. This new report that says the majority, really, of ground beef sold at supermarkets across this country contains so-called pink slime. What is that? Rick Fulon is here uh, with the disturbing details, the, the anxiously awaited details that we all want to know, Rick. Well, you wouldn't expect, Jenna, something referred to as pink slime to be good, and it's not. We're talking about filler. These are beef trimmings that, according to two former scientists at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, are added to the ground beef that we buy. Gerald Zirnstein and Carl Custer telling ABC News that these trimmings were once only used in dog food and cooking oil. But now, he says, they say rather they're found in 70 percent of the ground beef that we buy at our local supermarkets. It's basically a way for beef sellers to boost their profits by using a lesser quality filler that's cheaper than pure ground beef. The whistleblowers say it's not even actual beef. It's what's salvaged after the animals are slaughtered. Then it's treated with ammonia to kill bacteria and make it safe enough to eat. Though you won't find any of that listed on the ingredients label, something else the scientists say that they fought for and were denied. We reached out to the USDA, and a spokesman tells Fox News that the USDA has strengthened ground beef food safety standards in recent years and allows only products into commerce and especially into schools that we, the USDA, have confidence are safe. But this only refers to beef that the government purchases for the National School Lunch Program. The whistleblowers that we referred to say that these fillers are used, as we said, in 70 percent of all ground beef found in supermarkets. Sorry, Jenna. Back to you. I don't know if that apology is going to help anything, Rick. Yeah, I know. I still like my hamburger, though. And now a startling ABC News investigation. A whistleblower has come forward to tell consumers about the ground beef a lot of us buy at the supermarket. Is it what we think it is, or is it padded with a filler the whistleblower calls pink slime? ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila set out to get answers. Gerald Zernstein grinds his own hamburger these days. Why? Because this former USDA scientist, now whistleblower, knows that 70% of the ground beef we buy at the supermarket contains something he calls pink slime. Beef trimmings that were once used only in dog food and cooking oil, now sprayed with ammonia to make them safe to eat, and then added to most ground beef as a cheaper filler. It was Zernstein who, in a USDA memo, first coined the term pink slime, and is now coming forward to say he won't buy it. It's economic fraud. It's not, it's not uh, fresh ground beef. It's a, substitute, it's a cheap substitute being added in. Zernstein and his fellow USDA scientist Carl Custer both warned against using what the industry calls lean, finely textured beef and is widely known now as pink slime. But their government bosses overruled them. Why didn't you consider it beef? Because it was a salvage product. Leftovers. Fat that had been heated at low temperature and the excess fat spun out. Here's how it's done. Those waste trimmings are gathered, simmered at low heat to make it easier to separate fat from muscle, put in a centrifuge and spun to finish the separation. Next, the mixture is sent through pipes where it's sprayed with ammonia gas to kill bacteria and finally compressed into bricks and flash frozen for shipment to meat packers and grocery stores where it's added to most ground beef. And it doesn't have to appear on the label because over objections of its own scientists, USDA officials with links to the beef industry labeled pink slime meat. The undersecretary said it's pink, therefore it's meat. ABC News has learned the woman who made the decision to okay the mix is former Undersecretary of Agriculture Joanne Smith, a call that led to hundreds of millions of dollars for Beef Products, Inc., the makers of pink slime. When Smith stepped down from USDA, BPI's principal supplier appointed her to the board of directors, where she made at least $1.2 million over 17 years. She did not return our calls for comment. BPI says it had nothing to do with her appointment, and the USDA says, while legal then, under current ethics rules, she could not have immediately joined that board. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington. And we know this raises so many questions. Jim Avila is going to stay on this case. And coming up, a